from Miami team that's, you know, wasn't supposed to be here, lost, you know, beat the Bucks, beat the Knicks, beat the Celtics, brought them here against the Nuggets. And just shout out to the Heat for overcoming so many challenges, you know, losing the first playing game, being down to the Bulls, making it all the way here. How does this affect their legacy? How will they they be remembered, starting with Jimmy Butler? Yeah, I think they'll be remembered as probably the most overachieving team that made the finals. Unfortunately, since they don't didn't win the finals, I don't think anyone will remember them that much because while they did go to the finals, it's hard you're going to be hard pressed to remind a casual fan like, "Oh yeah, this guy brought a team to the finals, but then they lost." Kind of when they lost to the Los Angeles Lakers, people are like, "Okay, they got there and they lost and then It was really impressive when they did, and they surprised a lot of people. What I do think this does for them, it puts them in prime position to go out and get the next superstar available on the market, whether it's Dame, um, someone like Fred Van Fleet, where you can bring them in at point guard and get another scoring boost, where it's not just Jimmy, it's not just Bam, we can have a legitimate big three. I think that's what it does. I think Miami's a hot city to move to right now. No state income tax. Eric Sprolstra proved himself as a coach. Jimmy Butler proved himself as a teammate, pushed their injuries but like this year i don't think people will really remember it but i do think it can put them in position next year to go ahead and attract that next great free agent i think at this point they will be the favorites to lane dame he's already said that he's interested in joining them yeah and you get him you pair them with bam out who that's the player i want to talk about the most because in game five had a great game um and i feel like he really stood out to me as like what could be their Draymond? I feel like every championship team has a Draymond Green. And for Bam, it's like he's able to score in the post. He can shoot relatively well defensively, one of the best in the league. But also when he needs to be, he can be a decent facilitator as well. So I got I earned a lot of respect. Bam went about he earned my respect a lot in these finals. Yeah, Bam definitely earned my respect. He was kind of a player where I was, wasn't sure what he was going to give me, but he ended up being their leading scorer in the NBA finals. He was the most consistent player, and he started really to hit that open jump shot. He's someone, though, that is kind of on an Al Horford arc right now but he's like Al Horford in the 2000s where Al Horford was a beast defender had that little jump shot and then eventually expanded his game and got that three-point shot I know like Bam's body type usually when a player has arms that are a little too awkwardly long for their body like Giannis or Rondo it's hard for them to develop a shot but if Bam can start consistent consistently hitting threes he's going to be a really dangerous player and he can be a player like chris bosh draymond kevin love that third wheel on a team and then you infuse someone like dame who's already proven that he can hit butter buzzer beaters he can bring a team to the conference championship and overperform just like jimmy butler did i think it would be a match made in heaven oh yeah absolutely and then um other key players max Struess. what a what a what a finals for him one game he was watching not just one game multiple (laughs) games horrible just yeah could not get a single shot to fall and then he has some games where he just doesn't miss yeah he is the biggest enigma of the entire playoffs for them he's the reason they're in the playoffs no i mean credit to him (laughs) but like talk about a guy that was an enigma for this team i mean game one oh with ten (laughs) <laughs> game two what does he shoot like four of nine yeah making some big key buckets and it was just all over the place for him all finals just, yeah <laughs> what'd you say you had a good quote about max Struess earlier in the game max Struess, more like max caboose <laughs> because he's ass there were so many plays in this game that i was like what are you doing yeah this was yeah, it was painful. No, Max Struess is one of those guys. He was undrafted. He's undrafted for a reason. He's just a guy who's able to develop a shot. He goes out there. He has quick feet and defends hard. But should he be a starter on an NBA championship team in the same way as Matthew Della Vadova? Like, you were able to get through at East where you had two teams that were kind of giving it away. Tatum rolled his ankle. Giannis got hurt in that first series. So you were able to get through. But, like, Max Struess also hit six threes in that last play in game for you. And he's the reason why you're in the playoffs. But the reason this Miami Heat team is so bizarre is they lost the first play in game to the Hawks. 
and then they go on this incredible run to the finals. But yeah, Jimmy Butler, he'll be back. Bam, he'll be back. But like, I would see what the interest is for Max Struess, see what the interest is for Gabe Vincent. But if you could, would you package Vincent Struess and Caleb Martin for Dame, or was that too much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All three. Um, I mean, I would try to, I would try to keep Caleb Martin if possible. Yeah, but yeah, get Max Struess. Yeah, of course absolutely yeah i would say for me the biggest surprise was kyle lowry kyle lowry yeah. was the guy who's really keeping it in the uh keeping them in the game in game five he was hitting big threes and then he's been hitting big threes all playoffs coming in off the bench being the bulldog from philadelphia that he is and then he had a stint in toronto got the ring there and then he's been an awesome player for miami but miami still did lose tyler hero still did lose victor oladipo still got to the final so it's like yeah, they didn't win, but am I going to blame them for not winning? And does it matter legacy-wise? Not really, because you already overachieved just by getting to the finals. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And the people who are going to say, like, oh, well, Jimmy Butler choked in Game 5, and he didn't play very well in the finals. That's a valid point. He didn't have yeah. a great finals. But at the same time, this team should have never even made the finals. And some of the key moments that he made in the playoffs on the run, I'm like, he absolutely deserves his flowers. Yeah, for those people, I want you to do this. I want you to turn your ankle so badly that the next day it's swollen to the size of a golf ball. Take four days off from physical activity, and I'll see you on the court. And we're going to play one-on-one -on -one every other day for the next two months and see how your ankle is feeling by the end of that stretch. Because Jimmy Butler, well, he did play bad. He clearly wasn't himself since he injured his ankle. There was Super Saiyan Jimmy Butler versus the Bucks, And then he went Super Saiyan Jimmy Butler game one versus the Knicks. But guess what? That's enough to beat the Knicks when Jimmy Butler's not at full health. Bam was enough to almost beat them in game two. And then you get to the Celtics. He's enough of himself. And then Gabe Vincent goes crazy. Bam out of bio just dominates the Celtics in general. And then Caleb Martin has the game of his, the series of his life versus the Celtics. And then Jimmy Butler was struggling versus Boston. And then this was the same Jimmy Butler we got versus Boston. It's like, I'm sorry, but when you hurt your ankle, that injury is not going to get better if you're still playing basketball at the highest level every three days for the finals, every other day in the conference championship. It's like, I'm sorry, but like Jimmy Butler just was hurt. And he was pushing through an injury and more props to him. He was still pushing through his workouts, but inevitably you weren't going to beat this team anyways. Like Jokic is too good. You have no shame losing to them. And then they shouldn't even have been in the finals. It doesn't matter.